This is the Turf Zone Podcast, your central information and news hub, bringing together professionals from turf associations across multiple states to share things to help you in your business. Brought to you in partnership with our friends at the Turf Grass Council of North Carolina. This episode is sponsored in part by Bysod, world-class service on demand. Visit us online at www.bysod.com. Now, let's get in the zone. Welcome to the Turf Zone. In this episode, we feature an article titled NC State Turfgrass Releases Lobo Zoysia Grass. Warm Season Turfgrass Breeder Presents Zoysia Grass with Novel Traits. North Carolina State University's Turfgrass Breeding and Genetics Program, under the direction of Dr. Susanna Miller-Lewis, has released Lobo Zorgia Grass, experimental name XZ14069. Researchers selected Lobo from hundreds of nursery mates for its unusual combination of aggressive establishment and stress tolerance. These traits were later confirmed by six years of multi-location trials under low input conditions. Lobo Zoysia will be exclusively licensed through SOD Solutions for commercial production and marketing. This release is NC State's first warm season turf grass cultivar from Milla Lewis's breeding program that started in 2009. Turf grass breeder Susanna Milla Lewis discusses Lobo's traits at the 2021 NC State Turf Grass Field Day, rapidly expanding zoysia grass use. Zoysia grasses are warm season, perennial turf grasses often used in home lawns, commercial landscapes, and golf courses across the southern U.S. They're generally known for their low maintenance requirements, but slow establishment. Lobo is unique because it is fast to establish, drought tolerant, and maintains good color and quality under very low inputs. This medium fine zoysia grass cultivar is simultaneously well adapted for infrequently managed areas like golf course roughs, roadsides, and airport infields, but also for higher-end uses like home lawns, commercial landscapes, and golf course fairways, where aesthetics are equally important as maintenance. It's truly a unicorn, said Mila Lewis. The Lobo cultivar was tested with many others in low-input conditions on North Carolina roadsides where it exhibited quick establishment. Standout performance coast-to-coast. Lobo Zoysia has been a consistent top performer in roadside trials by the North Carolina Department of Transportation and also a National Turf Grass Evaluation Program, NTEP, specialty trial. These professional golf association, PGA, funded NTEP trials are currently conducted at eight sites from Florida to New Mexico. The trials are highly competitive and include other warm season grass species like Bermuda grass and buffalo grass, known for their superior drought tolerance. Lobo repeatedly received top performance marks at these climatically diverse locations. Zoysia grass is frequently grown in the southern U.S., but minimally in the west. This line shows the broader possibility of zoysia grass use, especially in areas with significant drought stress or water restrictions, Milla Lewis said. North Carolina State hosts both warm season and cool season NTEP trials at the Lake Wheeler Road Field Lab. Relentless Praise. Select North Carolina Sod Producers, Sod Solutions, and the North Carolina Sod Producers Association help support the development of Lobo by teaming up to form Turf Research North Carolina, TRNC, in 2016. Growers made financial contributions over a six-year period to fund research and development of Lobo and other materials yet to come out of the program. All NCSPA participating growers contributing to the program will have exclusive access to the grasses when they are released. Several of these sod growers hosted 200 square feet trial blocks of Lobo with impressive establishment results. One grower noted that Stalins had already rooted at five points only three days after planting. This grass is relentless, he commented. Lobo impressed both breeders and growers with its ability to quickly produce long runners with minimal inputs. Lobo zoysia production will be certified by North Carolina Crop Improvement to ensure the purity of this genetically unique turf grass. Participating sod farms are steadily increasing the production of Lobo 
and limited amounts of the soja grass will be available for purchase in the summer of 2022. A group examines a newly planted sample plot of Lobo Zoysia at North Carolina State's 2021 Turf Grass Field Day. Cultivating Excellence Dr. Milla Lewis is one of the top breeders internationally, said Toby Wagner, president of Sod Solutions. There was no hesitation to help support her program. We think Lobo will be one of the most versatile grasses on the market because of its many improved qualities, but also because it will be one of the easiest cultivars out there to maintain with minimal upkeep. Milla Lewis's turf grass breeding program focuses on drought-tolerant, warm-season species and tall fescue. She expects to release a new St. Augustine grass cultivar in 2022. CALS takes great pride in our plant breeding program, which has a rich history of plant improvements that benefit stakeholders around our state, nation, and world, said Steve Lommel, North Carolina State College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, Associate Dean of Research. The release of Lobo provides a zoysia grass cultivar with new and improved traits for home, commercial, and recreational applications in a green industry intent on sustainability. Lobo Zoysia, experimental name XZ14069, will be exclusively licensed through Sod Solutions for commercial production and marketing. Need more innovation? Crop and soil sciences research impacts citizens and students from the mountains to the coast and everywhere turf grass grows. Follow how our innovations affect agriculture and environmental science by joining our weekly news feed. If you are a student interested in turf grass science, investigate our undergraduate and graduate degree programs, including a deep dive into our turf grass program. Then join us for a guided email tour of our department and university. Enhancing North Carolina's green spaces through plant breeding is just part of how we are growing the future. For all resources associated with this article, check out our show notes. Don't miss an episode. Subscribe at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also visit us at theturfzone.com. You've been listening to The Turf Zone. Thank you to our sponsors, including By Sod, world-class service on demand, Visit us online at www.bysod.com. For more episodes of The Turf Zone, visit theturfzone.com and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app.